welcome to Deb's studio. I'm Deb and I'm the poetic artist. And this is where the brush meets poetry and the canvas speaks. So I thought in this episode we would cover differences in the quality of canvases. The first one I have here is an economy. This is from Walmart. Of course it is kind of loose here. Next one we have is a level one from Michaels. And then last we have a level three from Michaels also. So the first main difference you probably saw just as soon as you saw all three of these canvases together is the canvas and how it's applied to the frame. So this economy, the canvas is not pulled all the way across the wood like it is here. And then on this level two, the uh, canvas is actually tucked around an outside frame, and then there's another frame inside of the outside frame. I'm assuming that's for stability. I haven't yet gotten a level three, although I do have my eye on a four foot by five foot level three artist loft at Michaels. It's regular $99.99 for a single canvas. Um, right now, Michaels, they currently have a sale going on where you can buy one canvas and then get two free. That's one canvas and buy two free. So instead of paying $99.99 for one, I would pay $99.99 for three. I still can't go and get it though. I'm so disappointed. They always seem to have those sales when I don't have enough money to get them. Anyways, moving on. Another difference that we can see here is the corners. So the corners are a lot cleaner here on the level two got to tuck in and then there's staples actually in the level two. I'm not sure why they have staples at the corner. Um, this level one doesn't have staples and the economy, does, economy doesn't have staples either. There's also no staples here at the center support on either one except for the level two. And then the supports, they seem to vary in size. I don't know if that's a product difference or a quality difference. So on this level one, this board is actually wider than for the level two. But now that level two board, support board, is about the same width as this economy. So I think the only extra support you would get is the staples. All three are a tongue and groove. Even though this has staples, it's still tongue and groove. And another difference is in how tightly the canvas is applied to the frame. So on this economy, that canvas is really, it's saggy. It's really saggy. So when you're painting across here, you definitely, if you notice, you catch that center part. Um, you catch this center piece of wood here if you're not careful on either side. So that's something you have to be concerned with on economy for sure. And let's see, let's look at the level one. Hold on. All right, so this level one is actually pretty tight. Of course, I do have paint on it. Uh, not that that really makes any difference. But I've noticed like there's more spacing between the canvas itself and then this support. So. Wow, there's a lot of space in there. Okay. I mean, it's still a little, a little saggy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, and then, of course, with this one, you had to really press down in order to, like, catch that center board. So, that, that's really good. That is, because it's so tight, you really have to push in to touch that board. And now let's look at this level two real quick. And then I think we'll be done looking at the differences. I have to check my notes and make sure. All right, so the same thing, although this one does sound saggy, but now it doesn't have any paint on it yet, so that might be one of the things. I've not sprayed it down or anything. I don't know what I'm gonna put on this one yet. I'm trying to save it for something special. I know I'll eventually get around to it, but it's just that this is the only level two I have right now. I bought it because it was on sale. Again, you'd have to push really hard to 
you know, touch that center board. I mean, you can still touch it, I, I, but I think it's because I haven't sprayed the back of it. I haven't put any paint on it or anything, because this one, this level one actually feels tighter than this level two right now at the moment, and I think that's simply because I've got paint on him and nothing on it at all on this, and this one's still raw, with the exception of the gesso to cover it with. One other difference that I noticed, there's been a couple of canvases, not many, but a couple. Uh, one was in a smaller size, and I just noticed it in this other level, level one that I got. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell, and I have the camera secured, so I can't really. But this wood, this is warped. I mean, it's bowed, and then the canvas itself is what I would call kind of out of square. I'll look at it like this, it's not too bad. Let's see here. But yeah, okay, look here. So you can really see it right here where it's kind of bowed. It looks like there's a knot there. Um, that can happen sometimes, um, especially in economies and I guess now in level one. And I'm not exactly sure how you would fix that. I'd have to, I guess, study some other artists and see if they noticed that and what they've done to correct it. The other smaller canvas that I did, I didn't notice that it was bowed and it was actually bowed like this. So the I didn't really tell, and it wasn't that bad. Honestly, I, I didn't even notice it until I had put it up on the wall. And unfortunately, the top part was where the bow was. So yeah, I mean, if it had been an abstract, I probably could have turned it in such a way that it hardly would have been noticed. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. I do thank you for joining me for encouragement. If you don't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. So, so far, I am on track for posting a video at least once a week, either on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So keep an eye out for the next one. What we're going to do is we're going to look at this one and I'll show you how I'm putting this mist in. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. Um, don't forget, thumbs up for encouragement, and if you liked the video, and if you want to subscribe to my channel and follow me, that would be wonderful. Alright guys, so bye bye from Deb Studio. I am the poetic artist, where the brush meets poetry, and the canvas speaks. Bye.